Tekken 8 ranked is an insanely hard experience. Probably one of the hardest experiences when it comes to gaming that I've ever experienced. Coming from like Call of Duty, other types of, you know, games like CSGO. And then also coming from Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. And when I, this is my first time ever entering the Tekken franchise. And it is hard. It is tough as shit, this game. And I would have to say that like, that's okay, though. I got off stream today. It was very, very tough. There's certain time frames where the 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 ranked, I don't know what it is, that it, it really ramps itself up where it's it difficult in orange ranks. And there's a huge thing that always goes on with all the legacy players, all the veterans that are like, oh, the game starts at red ranks. And I think a lot of people can get discouraged on that. I see a lot of people really losing and learning, right? Like failing forward, I like to say, in this game. And this game is massively, massively difficult, man. I, and again, the, the reason why I titled it, and that's okay, because there's a lot of learning to have. I, I had a crazy, insane day. It was super sweaty today online. And, I, and I'm highly competitive, too. I'm ready to go. And you can just tell that, like, damn, like, everybody puts a lot of time and care into the game when they're learning all the credentials for the game that you know frame data punishes mix-ups counters all this stuff and, and just 3d essentially like sidestepping knowing when exactly to do stuff frame trap like these are all key terms that you need to learn me me included and it could be very overwhelming but i feel that that's still okay it, it's okay that it's in a league of its own again they do have special style and stuff but ranked is a whole nother monster and I feel that if you are in these situations that it's okay. It's okay to like, today I was kind of like not getting pissed, but I was just like, damn, man, like it's pretty tough, dog. But I actually still feel like I'm down and I'm learning. Like all those terms I just named a little while ago from frame data and everything like that. I was like, damn, I didn't know any of that until I started playing Tekken. So, and it's only, I've only been playing like 10 or 11 days. So it, it it's crazy that I would even try to like compare myself left and right to all these people that have been playing for years or anything like that. I basically got red ranks with Nina and I'm in orange ranks with like Asu Zeno right now. I have yet to like try anybody else out. I, have tr I haven't even mastered a player yet. I'm just kind of playing and vibing. And I am completely shocked at how much the learning curve is. And it's a, like what I said, it's a, it's a cool thing, man. It, it is super hard though. I don't think, uh, and be nice to yourself when you play this game, especially newcomers. I always have newcomers come to my stream and they're always like, is this good game? Like, should I get it? Like, is it hard? Is it good for beginners? And I'm, and I tell them straight up, hell no. Nah. Like, this is not like, not it's that it's a good game for beginners, but hell no, nah, it's not uh, an easy game to really just pick up and go. If you're somebody like me who actually doesn't have a lot of time to train these types of games i usually spend a lot of time now just trying to like learn certain criteria versus just completely jumping in and trying to go guns blazing all day like the way i do like in mortal Kombat. and this is also a very this is one of the first iterations of Tekken from what i'm seeing that it actually is pushing the aggro gameplay the, the heat burst the rage arts like the uh, just going in like mashing type characters some of the newer characters are more mashing like victor also senna like reina those are people that vastly punish they can just keep rolling and so but when you leave those types of characters or you're not playing them you notice a lot of like legacy players they play real like defensive and calculated and that also can be very frustrating for somebody learning. And this is from my experience too, because trust me, I, I get frustrated also because now, now, now you're just kind of not just knowledge check, but skill issues, of course, but also something that you learn is like, um, just the actual reaction times or the teching of the throws and everything. And all of that, see, there's just so many terms you learn in this game that I, it's okay for the game to be difficult. It's okay for it to be hard. And, so we're still slowly climbing ranks and we just learned, been learning all this stuff. And again, I had never really came through a game like this where I'm just like, damn, this game is tough, but it always, it's tough as shit, but it always inspires you to come back. Like I literally want to jump right back in already. Like I was getting my ass kicked today on, on ranked. I think I went for like a massive losing streak. Then I went like on a mini winning streak and then I went right back on a losing streak and it's, it's still kind of cool. I'm like, damn, like I'm getting hella frustrated, but i'm still liking this let's go let's go let's go it's kind of like those warriors that just have pride you know like <laughs> it's like vegeta when he gets his ass kicked and he just has this crazy pride and 
he just keeps fighting regardless you know having like a fighting spirit and i think this game brings out your fighting spirit it's either gonna crumble you like mentally emotionally and just like kind of humble the shit out of you or you have a fighting spirit like you get back in like even if you're getting your ass kicked get back in like today i got my ass kicked i'm about to get right back on stream in a few hours because <laughs> my early stream man it was dreadful today it was probably one of the worst days i had like ranked was they had some demons on rank today man but yeah if you're coming across this man this was just a simple video just to say like Tekken, it, it is hard and just know that when you go in and have the mentality of going in of learning versus just trying to win every match because um, when i tell you that there is fucking incredible players even in the early ranks and it, a lot of it a lot of it has to do because it is still new games so a lot of the, the the heavy hitters are mastering different characters what their prowess they're doing different character type because your characters kind of move around in rank like different ranks and some people already have like an experience with a lot of characters already and so they bounce around like five six mains and there's just a mixture of everything like the the i could tell like the matchmaking gets real like inconsistent at times like i'll get like a super beginner <laughs> like special style in orange ranks and then i'll get like somebody crazy in an orange rank or i'm just like yo this is wild so you just had to like let that know it's still early everything's still being figured out people are still massively hustling this game now the viewership has gone down drastically on twitch like if i were to look at twitch right now i think it's like let's let's look at that right now i'm actually gonna look at that right now i think at peak it was at what eighty thousand. right now it's at six thousand online on twitch right now so it, it has already peaked and everything the first two weeks has been that's it we're, we're technically what well, we just passed the second week right something like that but yeah just know it's hard as fuck don't get discouraged man keep going bro like i'm gonna keep going too like it's it's been a fun learning journey especially if you're new to the franchise and new to the game at a la me um you're the same boat bro so keep going man keep hustling bro peace